الهيئة السورية للتربية والتعليم علم Dear friends, welcome to this edition of English for Starters. We are going to see new subjects and learn new things related in a way or another to our life. We hope you enjoy and have fun and learn new information as well. Let's start. Communication, writing. In this episode, we are going to talk about 1. The history of writing 2. Present perfect simple and continuous The history of writing Imagine a world without writing. How would people transmit information to each other? Why do you think there is not just one universal system of writing? Look at these examples of phrases written in different scripts. Which languages are these examples from? 1. Greek 2. Hindi 3. Japanese 4. Russian 5. Italian 6. Thai Now, we are going to read an article about the history of writing. Please pay attention. The history of writing Human beings have been writing their languages for over 5,000 years. The methodology started in Mesopotamia in about 3000 BCE, when people living in the region developed a kind of writing to record and pass on information. The Mesopotamians used pictograms mainly to communicate economic information for example about crops and money gradually these pictures became a system of cuneiform symbols which were scratched on blocks of clay with reeds this system emerged in Sumer in southern Iraq only certain people knew how to write and for thousands of years, professional writers called scribes wrote about daily life and trade. Cuneiform gave countries of the ancient world a way of transcribing their history. At about the same time, another system based on pictures or hieroglyphics developed in Egypt. In about 1500 BCE, Chinese scribes started writing on tortoise shells using a system of characters similar to those which Chinese people still use today. Characters represent words, so people have to learn to recognize thousands of characters before they can read even a simple story. Traditionally, the Chinese write with a brush and ink. A. What were the main uses of pictograms in Mesopotamia? People needed a way to record things they traded. B. What kind of people knew how to write cuneiform symbols? Scribes. C. How did the Chinese write their characters? On tortoise shells with a brush and ink. 
match the words from the article with the correct meanings. To record. Write down for other people to read. To communicate. Give information. Symbol. Written sign which stands for something else. Trade. Business. Buying and selling. To represent. Mean. Stand for. To combine. Put together. Join with. Precious. Valuable. Worth a lot of money. Dates and numbers. Now we are going to write these dates and numbers in words. Three thousand BCE. Three thousand BCE, before Common Era. Fifteen hundred BCE. One thousand five hundred BCE. The fourth century CE. The fourth century CE, Common Era. Nineteen ninety nine. Nineteen ninety nine. Two thousand eight. Two thousand and eight. The twenty first century. The twenty first century. Now. We are going to rewrite the following as numbers and symbols. A. Thirty-five sounds. B. Twenty-six letters. C. Two thousand years. D. A hundred and sixty pounds. E. Thirty-one days. F, eighteen eighty-seven. Easy grammar for you. Present perfect simple and continuous. Present perfect simple and continuous. The verbs underlined in these extracts from this article are in the present perfect continuous tense. Look how they are formed. A. Human beings have been writing their languages for over 5,000 years. B. European countries have been making use of the Roman alphabet since they were part of the Roman Empire 2,000 years ago. C. The written form of Arabic, which people have been using since the 4th century CE, is the second most widely used alphabet in the world. As you noticed from the previous sentences, the form of the present perfect continuous is as follows. Subject plus have plus been plus the verb with ing. Compare these two pairs of sentences. What tense is each verb? I've written three letters this morning. I've been writing letters all morning. He's just played tennis. He's been playing tennis for several years. The first sentence is in the present perfect, have plus past participle of the verb. The second sentence is in the present perfect continuous have plus been plus verb with ing. 
Which tense describes an activity over a length of time? Which tense describes a finished action? The present perfect describes a finished action and the present perfect continuous describes an activity over a length of time. Since and for. When we are describing an activity that continues over a length of time, what kind of information follows the word since and for? Look at these two examples. People have been writing for 5,000 years. People have been writing Arabic since the 4th century. People have been writing for 5,000 years. For is used to describe the length of time that the action lasts. For example, for a year, for a minute, for my whole life, for centuries. People have been writing Arabic since the 4th century. Since is used to describe the point in time when the action started. For example, since 1999, since last year, since my graduation, since yesterday. Present perfect simple revision. We use the present simple of the verb have plus the past participle form of the verb. I've just finished my lunch. They've moved house twice this year. That's the third banana you've eaten today. Use meaning. We use the present perfect simple to refer to first, the fact that something happened in the past. I've shaken hands with the president. Two, a past experience or achievement with a definite result in the present. He's passed his driving test, so now he can drive on his own. 3. How long something has happened for? I've been at this school for 4 years, since I was 11 years old. Present Perfect Continuous we use the present simple of the verb have plus been plus verb plus ing form of the verb. I've been eating my lunch. She's been writing letters. Use meaning. We use the present perfect continuous to refer to first, an activity which continues over a length of time. She's been reading the newspaper all morning. Human beings have been writing their languages for over 5,000 years. We use the present perfect continuous to refer to Second, an activity which may not be completed. I've been reading the newspaper. I probably haven't finished reading it. I've read the newspaper. I've probably read as much as I want to. Present Perfect Simple and Present Perfect Continuous now, we are going to compare between the two tenses. 
We use the present perfect tense to talk about things where there is a connection between the past and the present. He has written 16 books. He started writing books at some time in the past. So far, he has written 16 books. He may write more books. As well as the present perfect simple, we can use the present perfect continuous tense to talk about events with a connection to the present. Look at these two sentences. I've been decorating the house this summer. The focus is on the action, decorating, and the action is unfinished. I've painted the living room blue. The focus is on the finished result. The activity is finished, but we can see the result now. We use the present perfect continuous when the focus is on an activity that is unfinished. Look at these two sentences. I've read that book you lent me. I finished it yesterday. I've been reading that book you lent me. I've got another 50 pages to read. The present perfect simple, I've read, gives the idea of completion while the present perfect continuous, I've been reading, suggests that something is unfinished. Look at these two sentences. She's been writing emails for three hours. The present perfect continuous has been writing talks about how long something has been happening. She has written 10 messages. The present perfect simple has written talks about how much, how many messages have been completed. Look at these two sentences. I've worked here for 30 years. We can use the present perfect simple to talk about how long when we view something as permanent. I usually work in London, but I've been working in Birmingham for the last three weeks. The present perfect continuous is often used to show that something is temporary. Complete these sentences by choosing the right verb form and, for, or since. A. The Chinese have been drawing characters since 1500 BCE. B. By the age of 15, Chinese students have learned over 3000 characters. C. Ali has lost his pen, so he can't do his English homework. He's been looking for it all evening. D. Asma has been reading since the age of three. She has read two or three books a week for several years now. E. European countries have been using the Roman alphabet for 2,000 years. Now, listen to this short conversation between two girls using perfect simple and continuous tenses. Hello. Hi, how are you? Fine, thank you. So, how do you like it here? Do you often stay at this hotel? Oh, yes. I've stayed here several times. I travel a lot all over the country and always stay here on business trips. And you? How long have you been here? It's been a while. I've been staying here for two weeks already. And? How have you been enjoying your stay? It's been very nice. The rooms are very comfortable and the staff have been friendly and helpful. There's not a single thing I could complain about. True, it's a very cozy place. So, where are you from? Originally from Madrid, Spain, but I have been living in the U.S. for the past few months. Oh, really? That's interesting. Are you here on business, like me? No, I'm here for pleasure only. I took a few months holiday and I've been doing some traveling. Oh, that's fantastic. I haven't had a holiday in months. 
What have you been up to? Actually, I've been doing a lot of sightseeing. The city's awesome. True. I don't have time for it now, but I've seen some great places around here. I've been taking a lot of pictures. Some of them are wonderful. Oh, are you interested in photography too? We should exchange emails. Here, we come to the end of this episode. For any questions or suggestions, please contact us on the following addresses. See you! Bye-bye!